everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I need to get a lot of stuff done today, like cleaning and bits around the house and I thought I would bring you along with me. So yeah, if you want to do a bit of a clean along, then uh, I'm your gal for today. Okay, so it's Thursday today and I've been working this morning and I've been to my first physio appointment and um, now I'm home and the house is just a mess and it's bugging me as you can probably tell from my voice I've been poorly again I feel like I've had everything going at the moment and it's making me feel a bit run down to be honest and I don't know about you but when I take my foot off the pedal stuff just goes to I was gonna swear but you know what I mean and um, it just all goes downhill really quickly and there's lots that I feel like it's just getting on top of me and I want to get it done today while I have it the time to so we're gonna crack on so I'm gonna show you everything that I need to do and that I want to get done and I will take you around and we will try and tackle it together before I need to do the school run so fingers crossed and um, yeah, let's get cracking. Let's face the music, I'll turn you around and show you what we're dealing with. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the kitchen. First things first, our Tesco order has literally just arrived as I started filming this. So that needs to go away first. I have some parcels that I need to sort out like um, the recycling for and stuff like that. I've got random bits of all sorts to put away. <laughs> There's a toilet roll from my snotty nose. Finish off cleaning up a few breakfast bits, I swear I've seen some bits on the stairs, this is on the floor, my cat's looking unimpressed with me, there's, right, okay, there's an, there's an apple, um, cat bits that I need to sort out, I need to mark, the dog's just having to sleep, I'm very jealous, um, so that's in here, and then in the utility room, I'm so sorry, this is so gross, we have a load to put on, a load that it's in, and then one of the first things to get on top of me when I'm not feeling well is laundry. So I need to sort that out as well and put all of that away. And yeah, that is downstairs for now. I need to clean the downstairs toilet. I need to hoover dust and polish and do all of the windows. Um, let's see what it's like in here. I'll just step through. I could do with just tidying up the shoe situation a little bit and tidying that up because it's been bugging me all week. <laughs> Still got loads of masks. Um, and then in here, it just kind of needs a tidy really, like the blankets need sorting. I need to hoover and stuff in here as well. Um, look at the rug, I need to sort that out. And we'll start with downstairs and then we will move upstairs, won't we, Rumi? So we're gonna be honest, right? I set this up to film this part and then I got the dreaded phone call from school and um, I've had to go and pick Bill up because he's not feeling well and he's going to have a lie down for a little bit uh, so I'm not too hopeful that I'm going to get everything done in this video but equally like that is the way life works sometimes and um, also excuse my washing machine because it's having a moment <laughs> in the utility room it's so loud when it's on that final spin but the first thing I do when the shop comes which is getting increasingly warmer by the second because I've had to nip out and go and get him is that I'll take everything out and just give the surfaces a wipe um, this is the first time in my life that I've ever had a brand new fridge and so I'm very you could say obsessed with keeping it clean and like because I feel like if I look after it a little bit every week then hopefully it'll last me a lot longer so I'm just gonna get my cleaning stuff and get cracking. So we're gonna use the good old Sephora. I've actually ordered some new cleaning products to try which I'll show you in a second but because it's for like food and in the fridge and stuff I'm gonna use this because I know that it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria however I will add to that that clearly not not all of them, that 0.01% still. There's my washing machine, still got me because I've got cold and now he's not feeling very well. But still, we will persist. Um, so I'm just going to take all of the like little bits and bobs out and move things around. I normally just move them from shelf to shelf and pop them back in. Um, and then at least I know that if there's any, you know, like grimy bits, like crumbly bits of cheese or like something that might have leaked without you knowing. There's always something, even after only a week. So let's go. So I'm going to do 
the top two shelves first, clean them, move these up to there while I clean the bottom two and then reorganise everything and then we can start putting food away properly. Okay, so now I'm going to do these snack trays and literally <laughs> put labels on them and everything. But honestly, these are pet lunch saviors and it keeps me really organised. So I'll, I'll get loads of little bits and bobs that have pet lunches. There's a few bits that I need to stock up on. We're all right with yogurts, I think. Um, so I'm going to add some more ooh, pepperamis in. These mini ones, well, it says lunchbox minis. The kids love them. And why can't I open them? Um, I think they're a good little, like, protein snack as well. Um, so I quite like adding those in to their pet lunches. Um, and they're nice and compact as well. I'm going to put the older ones on top. And then these refrigerators are on offer at the moment. So we've already got some. But while they're on offer, I will buy more. And they don't go off until the end of March. And these ones are still in date for like the next week anyway. So we're going to organise those. So the older ones are at the front. So I'll grab those first. That is those i think i'm going to move some of these back here actually so it fits a bit better and um yeah stuff like this just makes my job a bit easier also if the kids ask for a snack they know where their sort of snacks are and can just grab one and go so um i do quite like doing that and then these go go squeezers are on offer they love these um, they're big in America um, and have come over here but they're like basically fruit pouches a bit like the baby ones you get but like they do like applesauce and stuff in America and I bought them once um, to let the kids have a try and they absolutely love them and they think they're really refreshing you know at like um, break time or something if you put an ice pack in the lunch boxes and um, include one of these when it's a hot day they really really like them so i stocked up on these while they're on offer i won't always buy them i will buy the fruit slurpers which is tesco's own brand and um, they're with all the you know like fruit snacks that that's where you'll find them if you're in store um, i'm just going to put these leftover bits and bobs that i have in as well um, will you fit oh yes you do that's good and then i also have these yogurts that run off it so i didn't buy any more fruit ones um, and it looks like a lot but honestly with three kids when you're taking three out of here every time it goes down so quickly um, and that's just for like lunch boxes let alone snacks when they come home from school and this that and the other and i would rather honestly have them have something like this rather than like crisps or stuff like that so i always try and keep those stocked up so they're going to go back in the fridge now and i got these from home bargain and they fit beautifully they even have a little lip here that keeps them like steady on the shelf i'm obsessed with them they're so good i have one for like cheeses and dairy and like meats as well down there but they're brilliant i can't recommend them enough okay so now we're in the like kind of treat snack drawer and um, so i'm going to stock this up because as you can see we're running low so i've got some animal biscuits and i try and put them in neatly if i've got the time just because then they can see what we've got and um, so that is see if we can stack them all in one go that is those i feel like we might need to double up on these a little bit never mind um and then i also got some mini cabri fingers can we do this a bit better i wonder let's try that there we go. I think we're getting somewhere now. Move these ones back here. So the fingers can go like that. We have some little mini Haribo packs that we've had left over from like birthday parties, that kind of thing. So I'll pop those there. They always know to ask me, like, can I have a snack? What can I have? And I will tell them because I keep tabs on like what they're eating do you know what i mean because they can't just run wild but they are generally quite good if i say go and have a piece of fruit they'll go and help themselves to the fruit bowl or the drawer in the fridge and um, but again i like doing this because it lets me know how many things 
are having. These are like chocolatey sweets and these are kind of fruit based snacks. So I'm going to add some rinders. Um, and I keep these separated as well because if they say you can have a snack and I'm like, yeah, you can get one of the fruity ones. Um, they know which box to come to and it's just quite useful. We have popcorn down here and some cookies that I got from the garden centre as well. And Jaffa cakes because everyone loves Jaffa cakes in our house. And in this space here, so I try and stack these just because you can actually get more in if you take the time to stack them up right. Um, and then I'm not stuffing like half a bag of crisps somewhere else. And that is that cupboard done. I'm just gonna, hmm, where can I put the Jaffa cakes? I might just have to slot those on top for now. And um, yeah, all stocked up. And now I'm gonna do some final restocks of cereal because we finished two. And we need to fill them up again. So we've got, um, well, Tesco's Cocoa Pops in this one. And then even though this is more of a pouring um, tub, I'm going to put the wheat bisques in here um, purely to keep them fresh. Whoa, look at all the flakiness of them. <laughs> They're quite nice with like fruit or warm milk on a cold day, which we seem to be having a lot of at the moment. that is those and I think they'll look forward to the fact that they've got two different ones to choose from tomorrow and then finally coffee <laughs> so we have uh, the Starbucks ones these new ones vanilla and caramel um, they're so nice and you can get these at Tesco at the moment I'd really recommend them so I'm going to stock up because I've been enjoying these recently and they're four pounds for a box, but when you consider that I've spent eight pounds here, but then like a coffee itself will be um, almost four pounds, depending on what you get. Especially because I get um, coconut milk now. That's what I like at the moment. And um, that can normally be more expensive. And um, yeah, I try not to buy too much coffee or I'll like save my freebie ones up, you know, when you get rewards or loyalty cards. I save those up for bad days. <laughs> um, and it helps. It's nice to have something to look forward to, isn't it? Um, so I definitely recommend, like, if you've got a local cafe, I've got a loyalty card with one. And then obviously I've got the Costa reward, like, membership card as well. The next thing I'm going to do is stick the oven on a, a clean cycle. Um, it's still got like marks at the bottom, it's not perfect, but I do try and take good care of it. And it's one of those neck ones which apparently means it cleans itself. So it says to put a little bit of like fairy liquid or dish soap into a jug and fill it with boiling water. And then you pour this into the bottom of the oven, which feels a bit scary. <laughs> Sometimes, in case it like overflows, but if you do it like fairly slowly, you should be all right. And then you close that. You have to take all the shelves out and stuff. And then it has this little setting called Eco Clean, and um, you set it on for an hour, and I'll like burn off any residue and clean it for you. It's really weird and then for the racks i'm going to put those in the dishwasher and fill that with anything else and set that going as well i'm just going to go and do a run around and see if i can find anything else laundry time so I've got another load to put in 
this is going to go in the dryer because obviously it's miserable outside. Why would it be sunny? Why would it ever be sunny in March? <laughs> I wish it was sunny. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to sort out is these little baskets that we have for apparently lots of rubbish. Um, there are loads of things in here that we've probably grown out of, so I need to check like the sizes and stuff. Um, and just organise them a little bit better into like summer and winter, I think that would be quite nice. So let's get everything emptied out and see what we're working with. Okay, so I have a candle. This is the pastels one from Aldi that I've just lit because I have just cleaned our downstairs loo. I couldn't really film it because as you can see, it's a tiny space and all you would have seen is like my bum around here. So I just thought I'll do it and then walk you through. So I've just cleaned down the sink. I've wiped down the soap dispenser. I washed the towel yesterday, stocked up toilet roll, cleaned the loo and I cracked a window and I thought I would put this in here to bin and make everything smell extra nice and then once I've done some other jobs I'm going to come in here hoover and then I will mop but that is our downstairs lead done and while it is small it is perfectly formed and I actually think it's quite a cute little toilet but yeah that is that one and then I thought I would quickly show you some parcels that I got so this one I was not expecting sorry you're on a tripod so it's really hard to manoeuvre. But how nice is this? It's from Louise. Mum has still got it. The Garnier collaboration. And she sent all of these things, like her little favourites. So this, I'm really excited to try it. It's the Invisible Serum UV, CP UV, like nude skin feel um, SPF, which is fantastic for when the sun comes out. Then this I need, I'm so dry after being poorly, I feel like my body is so dehydrated. So I'm really actually very excited to try that because it sounds amazing. Um, I've got hair remedy, strengthening mask, which I've just had my hair done, so that might come in quite handy. This I've bought before and loved. It smells amazing and it's so nice. And we are, <laughs> I actually had it recently and we're running out. So I'm really happy with them. Um, and I'm going to go and put those in our shampoo dispensers upstairs, I think. I've got her signature little mini hands that I know the kids are going to find hilarious to play with. How funny are they? I'm sure you've seen her. And then this is such a treat. I have all of these sheet masks. So every single one of them to try. And some of them are for eyes, so I might keep those in the fridge, you know. Should I put all of them in the fridge so they'll be soothing, like soothing? I think I might do that, but it's really cheered me up because I'm feeling it this week. We've had a lot of bugs in our house and I'm a tired mum, as I'm sure you can hear in my voice. And then this is what I ordered. I was very curious about it. It's the Perdian Fig. Um, it's like a starter set, so it comes with um, this lovely microfiber cloth. It's very plush very thick and then this is what it normally comes with so you've got a, a balancing floral counter clean or political citrus counter clean um grounding vetiver and then you come with this like bottle which it, it fits my aesthetic quite well with my ones over there and then these are the two spring scents as well and i got it for 20 pounds it's patchouli and cedar wood and lemon and marjoram not that my scent is the best at the moment because i've got black nose but i think i'm going to pick one and try it out and like clear all the surfaces rather than polish for once because it arrived just in the nick of time so i might as well give it a go but 20 pounds for the whole set and you pour in 20 ml of the concentrate and then fill with tap water so it's going to last you quite a long time i think it might be something like it's expected to be like three months or something so i'll see how i get on with that thought I would give it a go, see if I liked it, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it does a good job. Although, I, the only thing that I always get really worried about, which is ironic given that we're in a germy situation at the moment, is like, how good is it at cleaning germs and stuff? And, you know, is it just for cleaning surfaces and making them smell nice, do you know what I mean? It's an eco-cleaner, um... Yeah, I'm going to have a read into it, but if you've used them before, let me know what you think. But I'm going to go and set this up now and get cleaning.
So I'm running low on time now before I need to pick up Stan because Daisy's having a play date with one of her friends after school. So what have I done? I have cleaned all of the windows and mirrors and like, you know, like TV services and stuff with this. Um, it smells amazing. It's like a window cleaner, but it smells more like a perfume, to be honest. Um, so I've done the bifolds, I've done this, I've done that, I've done my computer screen. Um, I've done like the windows in the living room and the mirrors. And what I am going to do now is just check the oven because that has finished. So if you can see, there's all that sooty stuff. And if you wipe that away, then it's essentially like all the dirt. It's, it's really weird. I'm gonna wipe that down. And I think I'll probably have to go then and go and get a stand and then I'll try and resume when I get home. Gross. Got the phone. I've got the gilet and the Uniqlo bag with an emergency umbrella and the snack for Stan, which is a must because we don't want hungry children. And yeah, it's time to go. I'll see you when I get back. Okay, we're home and a little guy has requested a hot chocolate. So I'm gonna do that for him and one for Bill. Mark doesn't want one and I'm more of a coffee gal than a hot chocolate person. Um, Daisy's at her friends and then once I've done that, I think I'm gonna clean for a bit while the boys chill and then I will do their dinner because she's eating there and then... <laughs> and then... Oh. You put those little hands out of that no. package, haven't you? No, um, and then these are my real hands. These are your real hands. Yeah. And then um, hopefully I'll be done by then. So I've got until yeah. six o'clock really when I pick her up. So I, I need to get cracking. <laughs> Some people say money gets you everything. It's half four and I'm flagging a little bit, I won't lie. Um, <laughs> what have I done? I've done the packed lunches while the boys were having a hot chocolate. Bill seems fine, so I don't know if I've been had or if he's just feeling better. I'm going with the latter because he's not normally one to come home from school for no reason. Um, I have done packed lunches, I've prepped their dinner, I've done naan bread, many naan bread pieces. And I'm gonna do some cucumber and carrot and hummus as well. And then Stan convinced me to buy this Easter brownie on the way home. I, I realised like we run out of cat food and I've got to order any. Um, and we normally bulk buy like a big, big, big bag. Um, but obviously I've not done it in time, so I picked up this one um, to just tide us over because obviously we've got two cats and they eat quite quickly. So I'm gonna refill this now. And then I think we're gonna start hoovering downstairs and then I will move upstairs, but I'm really tired. A part of me just wants to hoover downstairs and call it a day. Hello, beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> there he is, just about seeing him. He's my baby, aren't he? He's such a sweet dog. Um, yeah, I am tired, but I'm gonna crack on. This isn't perfection. This is, you know, just like how it is sometimes. Sometimes you just don't want to do it, do you? And the congestion, I felt like I could do with taking something to sort that out, but I've got an hour and a half until I need to pick Daisy up, so I really should just make the most of the time limit and go for it, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's watch me pour in some cat food now. Like this could end really badly. Whew, how I only dropped two then is a miracle. We're doing good, aren't we? We're doing good. Would you like a treato? <gasps> Would you like a treato? I can see your tail wagging.
Okay, Google, broadcast dinner's ready. Okay, broadcasting now. Hi. So the boys are having mini number of pizzas. How are you feeling? Better. Good. And uh, they've got cucumber, hummus, and apple, and they've got an Easter brownie for dessert. Okay, so it's half past six, and we've had a brief interlude. Um, I did manage to get most of the clothes put away, but. I didn't film it because I had like 10 minutes and I really desperately wanted to get it done before picking Daisy up. I picked her up um, and stayed and chatted to her friend's mum for a little bit. She's so nice and it was really lovely actually because um, she was at one of her boyfriend's houses and normally like I'll see more of the like the girl mums in her class. So it was really lovely um, and now, well... I have laundry, a fair bit of it, because um, it's non-uniform tomorrow for Red Nose Day. So the laundry basket is no longer empty. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to hoover the bedrooms. I can hear those two debating over Minecraft. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to put these in the wash and then I'll decide. So I've come upstairs. Um, I've done Daisy's lunch. I made it earlier, but I've just transferred it over to a lunchbox. And Mark's walking the dog now because um, we have to like tag team it. <laughs> um, and I don't think I'm going to manage to hoover up here tonight. A, I'm knackered. And B, um, Daisy's actually on my phone. I don't know if you can hear her in the background, but she's chatting to her best friend on FaceTime or like WhatsApp's version. So I thought what I would do is just quickly clean the surfaces quietly because the hoover will just ruin that. And um, I put all the clothes away before, like I said, but I thought I would show you because I've like reorganized like their wardrobes recently. And um, they're looking nice and tidy. They probably won't stay like that because, you know, children. <laughs> but um, they seem to be working quite well so far. And I think it is good with them moving forward. Because I've had to kind of change it now they're getting older, to be honest. But, um, yeah, let's do some cleaning. It's the protection from the cold. Okay, including six special seats. Elephant seals have a special layer of fat. So I've um, dusted and done the windows and mirrors in all the kids' rooms. I'll do ours tomorrow. I was doing Daisy's reading book with her and I've now put mine and Mark's clothes away because I'd not managed to do those yet. And yeah, I'll show you how I've organised Stan's wardrobe. I've done like a little reel type thing as well, but um, I'm really pleased with it. So this is Stan's wardrobe. Um, it's just a really cheap Ikea one actually. Um, one that we had previously when this was Daisy's room. So we kept it because it's fit for purpose. So originally we had like this collapsible shelf thing. It had like two hanger hooks and it was like maybe five different cubes of spaces to put clothes in. And it was great for when he was little because it made things a bit more accessible. And the rail was lower and the shelf was higher up. So I used the shelf to hide things like out of the way. The, I say stuff that was too big for him or maybe like presents or something like that like just out of the way but I realized all that was happening here was it was a dumping ground for everything he was dumping things in there we were dumping things in there in a rush putting things away and you couldn't see what he had at all anymore so I readjusted the shelf put it at the bottom in this box here these are all like inserts from Ikea these are all seasonal bits or bits that are too big for him or he can wear like later on in the year. He's got his football stuff here which is great because he can just pick a kit and go. Um, school like bottoms, school tops, underwear like school socks, swimming stuff. So we have Stan here in his football room now don't we? And then up at the top the rail is higher now and what have we got here? We've got all your t-shirts haven't we yeah and these are for when it's warmer so lots of shorts and stuff he little like fancy shirts and then these are like longer tops and longer trousers and that's his little like swim towel thing and um, but he can see everything now and you can still reach can't you you can still find everything 
and pick what you want to wear, which is nice. He's demonstrating that for you. Oh, there we go, perfect. So, we are done. I'm calling it a night. I've still got to hoover upstairs. Mark's making tea though. I'm gonna do your reading book, aren't I? And then I'm gonna relax for the evening and that is okay. I can't get everything done sometimes and we have worked hard, haven't we, Stan? What is that? Oh, that's gonna be a fun one to read. Should we go and do it? So this that, is more important. This is the one that I read. Okay, come on then. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't inspiring, but it was realistic, I suppose. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Take care of yourselves.